Welcome. Welcome to Kigali. Welcome to Rwanda. Bienvenue. Bienvenidos. Ahlan wa sahlan. Willkommen. Bienvenidos. And I don't know all other languages of the world. Welcome to this beautiful place for the 73rd FIFA Congress. Dear President, it is uh, a historic Congress because it is the first FIFA Electoral Congress taking place in Africa. And this first FIFA Electoral Congress taking place in Africa happens after the first FIFA Men's World Cup taking place in the Middle East. And this first FIFA Electoral Congress happening in Africa happens before the first Women's World Cup happening in the Southern Hemisphere in Australia and New Zealand. So it is definitely a day of uh, firsts, a day of celebrations, and also a day of uh, reminding and remembering where we were, where we are, and where we want to be. And I would like, in this short welcome, to tell you two little stories, if I may. The first one is about this ball here, which proudly says, made in Rwanda. So this ball has been manufactured by some women, some ladies, who survived the, the genocide in this country. And to have a life, they are producing many beautiful things, amongst these things, footballs. Footballs to give smiles and joy and hope to children all over the world, but mainly, of course, here in Rwanda. So I would like to start by challenging all of you, those who want, of course, to buy one of these balls. Buy one of these balls, contact anyone of my office or of Fatma's office. The price is 1,000 US dollars. You buy it, and all the money will go to these women who are producing so many good things for children all over the world. Please do so. And if you cannot put $1,000, put whatever you can. We will put the difference. The second story I want to tell you about this beautiful country is that it has a particular relation with me. When I was campaigning to become FIFA president, Rwanda hosted the Shan, the African Nations Championship. And I came full of hope twice to Rwanda. First for the opening game, where I met many African associations. And then I came back for the final game. First time I came, I was full of energy and full of hope. And the second time I came, I was uh, told, well, you know, we all love you, but actually we are not going to support you in the election. So, of course, I was pretty depressed, about to give up. I had already packed. And suddenly, and I don't even know, President, if you know that, suddenly somebody came to see me, and he gave me a ticket for the match of the final, because I had no ticket for the final match. That, by the way, the DRC won. And he told me, this is a ticket offered to you by President Paul Kagame. And then I decided, I thought about it, and I remembered my visit to the memorial. And you should go all to visit the memorial, all of you. And I said, who I am to give up? What this country has suffered, and how this country came back up, is inspiring for the entire world, dear President. 
So I certainly couldn't give up because somebody was telling me something. I stayed, I attended the match, I continued to campaign. I was elected FIFA president a few months later. But most importantly, I witnessed how this country flourished. And this country flourished with nothing, starting from nothing, with uh, hope, with compassion, with commitment, with hard work, and with leadership. And today, this is a beautiful country, and I'm sure that everyone here will come back with their friends and their families to visit not only Kigali, but also the rural areas, the gorillas, and all the beauties that you can see here, and in the neighboring countries, of course, of this beautiful continent, which is Africa. Dear President, we brought the world of football here today, 211 countries, many legends, many friends. We brought them here to celebrate football. We know that football is uh, the most important thing in the world, and that's why, for today, Kigali is the capital of the world. Thank you.